So many people in Florida are posting about the devastation they're seeing. It's really giving us a firsthand look at just how catastrophic the past two days have been. The CBS 8 photojournalist Mike Edison gathered some of the most compelling images we've seen on social media since Hurricane Ian made landfall. The reports that we are getting uh, so far this morning are that there are definitely catastrophic impacts, people that have been in the path of this storm. Are you guys okay? Seeing devastating effects to, the, to them and their homes. We are very focused today. Our number one priority is saving lives. Hold on, 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 from the local, state, and federal level uh, descended on southwest Florida. We have 2.02 million reported power outages. Well, we have a five-ton truck, an old Army truck that we have in case we have uh, emergencies like this. We brought it out, and since there are some homes in here and there's some people that are in, like, a flooded like this, uh, if they want to leave, we're going through doing house checks. If anybody has any type of medical attention, we took the fire rescue guys with us and a couple of deputies. We're going to bring them out to higher ground, and then we're going to be shuttling them to shelters. They're like around six to seven feet of water. So right now, it's pretty bad. A lot of, you know, a lot of um, elderly people, they, they need help. It's been that surge that has been the, the, the biggest issue uh, and the flooding uh, that has resulted uh, as a result of that. In some areas, uh, we think it's hit 12 feet. We're just encouraging people to please stay home. It's not worth coming out. Nothing's open. And just stay home because you're, you're causing us to put ourselves at risk.